<laughs> so, it is the 16th of March, and I didn't get too much on the farm done today because I did three loads of uh, hauling composted horse manure. Uh, it's about a two hour round trip. Uh, drive and back and unloading and all that stuff it takes about two hours. So I got three of those done. It took about six hours out of my day. But this morning I came out here and I did some planting. Um, I got an, the other bed of char done. Got another bed of, or the first bed of, uh, this in the middle is red Russian kale. And then I have the kohlrabis, purple kohlrabis. I'll be harvesting those like like collards, basically. Uh, they look and taste a lot like collards, except they're purple. And I'll probably market them as purple collards, even though they're technically kohlrabis, but they taste really good. I like the leaves best of all. And, uh, here we have a dino kale. I was going to do some more dino kale in, these, you know, in this bed here, and then I was going to start the curly kale, and that's going to be curly kale there once I tell it up. But uh, I had to go get manure. The guy contacted me today and said that I could go down and get it. So that was pretty cool. I got uh, three truckloads. That will get me uh, three more beds out in the main field. Because um, every truckload is, is about how much I want to dump in each bed. And I think I have like seven or eight more beds out there that don't have it in in that do not have the compost and manure in the beds. So I have three more truckloads. That means I have about four or five more to go before I can fill that whole thing up and be done there. And then the rest that I can get from that guy is just going to be uh, composting for another year, basically, until till next season comes around, which is pretty cool. I'm really happy I got that source. Um, we decided... Oh, yeah, one other thing that was done this morning was along the edge here of this thing, this garden, and on that side of, of it as well, I had... Um, <clears throat> like all these strawberry plants, I didn't know where to put them last year. I didn't have these raised garden beds. I didn't have this potato patch. Just had this garden last year, and my neighbor was really, really nice to give me some awesome strawberries. And I just basically planted them like the borage there, like right on the the border of this thing, all all down and around, and same on that side. But I lost a lot of them uh, because I obviously tilled this year and killed a bunch of them in the tilling, uh, but there were still a few, so I decided to save some of them in this bed here, and uh, they're pretty crowded in there, it's going to be a crowded strawberry bed, but until I have a more permanent home for them, this is where they will be, for this year at least, and then next year I'll pull out all the runners, and maybe I'll put it in that one, <laughs> and then I'll have two, and then maybe after that I'll put it in the third one. And then I'll have three beds, and then maybe after that I have to find another home for them. But I uh, will see. Um, I also want to note today I was looking at this uh, potato patch. It doesn't look very impressive right now. It's just a shirt. <laughs> but I used that composted horse manure, and I mixed it with some soil and stuff. But this is, you know how I was saying we got massive rains? This is just a sponge. It is so perfectly moist you know look at look at the level it looks all dry on top but barely at all down below it's moist it is just a sponge it's like a sponge in your kitchen it's just perfect 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 soil especially for a root crop where it needs that moisture all the time we're gonna get some awesome potatoes out of that i really am happy about that situation so anyways so that was my little garden diary today for the 16th of march uh, 2016 i don't think there's anything else to report we'll give you an update on the other on the other field uh maybe tomorrow next day something like that whenever i get around to it peace